Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to remove a cooling deck, refrigeration assembly, or a compressor assembly, whatever name you'd like to give it, from your Dixie Narco 501E, 276E, or 600E drink vending machine. The reason why you want to remove a refrigeration assembly from this is if the unit stopped cooling, it needs to be replaced, charged, repaired, or your condenser fans no longer rotating, or your evaporator fan or fans are no longer rotating. For the first time vendor, this may be a bit confusing, but the good thing is everything on this vending machine can be serviced from the front. This whole unit can be slid out from the front once it's been uh, disconnected and unbolted. Uh, this can be done with only three sets of tools and usually within 15 minutes you can get this done fairly quickly. So on this one video, so I'm going to go ahead and take this compressor out of this machine and I will put it back in so you can see the whole process of how it's done step by step. You know, first thing, always keep in mind, whenever you're working on any sort of vending machine where there's power anywhere, you want to disconnect the power completely. You want to unplug the machine from the wall. If it's a drink machine, it may be too heavy to get behind to the wall there. It may be two gaps too far or too narrow and you can't reach your arm in there. So find the breaker and trip the breaker to remove all power from the machine. You don't want to be messing with this with the compressor running. There's fans. You can cut yourself. So just be safe remove power from the machine completely, and then you can start to get to work. So the tools you need for this, very easy, we're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver, a flat head screwdriver, and a 9 16 ratchet socket or open end wrench like this here. A little pro tip here as well, as I happen to uh, steal a little uh, uh, towel here, I'm going to put over the evaporator coil, don't tell my wife, but uh, we have that there. So that's going to go over the evaporator coil and I'll show you the reason why you want to get that. So once you remove power from the machine, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to unplug the compressor. On Dixie Narcos, the compressor can be unplugged by here. There's actually a two-prong plug. There's a junction box in the bottom where you can actually unplug the compressor, which I've done like this. And I'm just going to unravel this. And there's a plug right there. So now the compressor is unplugged from the machine. So the first thing to do is we're going to remove the delivery chute. Now there's two styles of delivery chutes in a Dixie Narco. There's a metal one and a plastic one. I'm fortunate enough to have the plastic one, which makes it easier to kind of bend and pop it out. The metal one may require a little bit more finesse to get it out, but these are just going to come straight out. So you're just going to need your Phillips head screwdriver and it's going to be two screws that we're going to remove. So let's go ahead and remove these two screws. I'll put these over here for safekeeping. Now with the screws removed, I can actually grab this pull. I'm going to kind of twit, bent it in here and I'm going to pull. And out comes the refrigerator, excuse me, out comes the delivery chute. So once that removed, that gives us access to the entire portion of the actual uh, drink box here. So the next thing I'm going to do is I like to remove this gateway or keyway right here. So what we have here is we have the refrigerant lines coming from the bottom of the compressor or condenser up into the evaporator coil. We have both high sides and low side lines coming here. And this little metal bracket is held on by two little latches and I just popped it loose. And that's what this is, it's just these little latches right here. That gives us access to this gateway here, and I'm just going to pull off the plumber's putty. It's kind of like Play-Doh, and what this acts is the plumber's putty is to prevent any air from getting into the cold box, which would make the compressor run a little bit longer than it needs to, maybe freeze up the coil, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So once that's loose, we're then going to need to remove the cover to the evaporator coil. So the evaporator coil sits here, and there's two fans that sit back there that pull air through the evaporator coil, cools the air, and blows the air up the back of the cabinet so we get an air circulation in this type of fashion. Once that's, so we, the cover here pulls the air in, so this is kind of creating um, a vacuum to get this pulled in, per se. So we're going to remove the cover. So I'm going to take a flathead screwdriver, and I'm going to pull these little clips here. Now these little clips are, um, sometimes you can pull them off with your fingers, but you can get in here and pop the clips off. Put it over here for safekeeping. Over here, pop this clip off. Like 
so. And that's again, this is what this clip looks like. With that loose, I can lift up and remove the cover to the cold box. So with this loose, next thing we do is there's actually little tabs in here that, that need to be lifted up. So these little metal tabs kind of wrap around the actual uh, vaporator coil and they just kind of hold it in place. So I'm just going to lift up on those. The next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to you know, take my Phillips head screwdriver and there's usually four sheet metal screws that are holding this evaporator coil to the cold box. So I'm going to go through and go ahead and remove those real quick. here on the right hand side, oh, this, this one actually happens to have three. So, lucky for me. All right, so I've got those three screws removed. And the last thing here, the last th screws or anything to unbolt is gonna be the actual bolts to hold down the actual compressor deck to the bottom of the machine. So I'm gonna take my 916 open end socket. I'm gonna go ahead and loosen these up. Get to that hand tight them. And loosen it up there. And up there. There we go. All right. Well, that's out of the way. Now, this is where the handy little towel comes into hand. On your evaporator coil, which is this here, the aluminum pieces right here are very, very sharp. They will cut you. If you're not careful, they're gonna cut into your skin and you're gonna have these nice little rake marks across your arms. So to prevent that, I always like to take a little towel, wrap it over the top of it, so now I can grab it without worrying about uh, cutting my hands or, or fingers or anything. So with that loose, I can now just grab the compressor. I'm gonna slide this forward. And it just come here and pull, lift this up, grab the compressor, pull this out. And now this entire refrigeration assembly is completely removed. Now, when you're grabbing the compressor, be careful. The back of the unit may be hot. Let me go lift this up and show you what I'm talking about is this little piece right here gets very, very hot. So be careful when you're pulling it out if you just recently unplugged the machine. As you can see inside here, we've got two fans. Um, a lot of times these fans will stop turning so long as no longer circulating the air, which will then eventually cause this to freeze up completely. If you don't have any air circulation, the air just sits on this coil and the whole coil freezes up. This machine has two. Sometimes there's just one right in the center. So this is, makes it a lot easier for you to get in there and change out those fans if you had to. Very simple process. Now to put everything back in, is just like we did, it's like I do it in reverse. So, I'll leave a towel on the evaporator coil. I'm going ahead and grab this, and I'm gonna slide this in the back. Now, in the bottom of these dictionary compressors, there's a little hook, a little tab, where this refrigeration deck will click, uh, basically connect into. So you've got a little hook in the back of the cabinet, you can slide the compressor deck, line it up that way. It's gonna help you line the screws up. So to do that, I'm just gonna lift up the compressor, Grab the evaporator coil, kind of slide it up. Now it's compressor. Just going ahead and make sure that my power cord is not being caught anywhere. This. Lift this up, keep sliding it. There we go. Get that slid in. I'm just going to look in the back here and kind of line up the uh, the holes for the for the bolts. If they're, they're lined up there, that's good. Now I just want I can take the towel off with the evaporator coil. And I'm gonna go ahead and get my bolts started that go on to the actual compressor deck here. So I've got the holes lined up. Get these hands covered here. A little over to the there. Here. Get them started. Slid in. There we are. Put in place. That's put in place. Go ahead and tight, hand tighten these down. Right now. Starting to go ahead and turn these a few times. All 
All right, tighten this one down quick here. And there we are. All right, next thing I'm gonna do here is I'm going to attach the evaporator coil to the cold box using the three Phillips head sheet metal screws. I'm gonna grab my Phillips head screwdriver and I'm just gonna go ahead and line these up. There. Got that one started. Work to the. I'm going to go to the bottom left hand one here. Is that going to go caddy corner? It makes it kind of easier to line things up. Again, this is sheet metal, so it's real kind of flexible. So you shouldn't have to struggle too much for it. There we are. I'm going to get the top one here. Bend down the tabs. And essentially now we've got the actual compressor assembly locked back in place. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the cover back on for the cold box. All right. Goes on like this. Cover goes back on. Go ahead and slide these clips in place. There's one. Too. Sometimes if you have a hard time trying to get this clip slid back on, you can always take the bottom of your, take the handle of your uh, screwdriver and just kind of tap it in. Then it's in place. Now the next thing we do is we're going to put our little clip back on that covers this area up. So I'm just going to take this. Now there's little hooks right here. We're going to click on and this is going to latch up underneath the bottom. All right, that's in place. And then we'll take our plumber's buddy. Just going to again act like it's Play Doh, and we're just going to make sure we cover up that entire hole there so it just drops any air from getting in. And that's in place. And then the last thing here is we're going to put our delivery chute back in. So grab the delivery chute, squeeze it, and align it in here. Watch these cables on our right hand side. There we are. Make sure it reaches up to the bottom of the back there and then you got your two screws here one two put these guys in here get them hand started and we'll take the Phillips head screwdriver and tighten these guys down and that's good to go and last but not least is we're going to plug the compressor back into the machine again over on the bottom left hand side here i'm just going to wrap it around here a couple of times just so it gets rid of some of the slack plug that back in and now this machine can go right back into operation so as you can see it's not very difficult to get these refrigeration assemblies out serviced and then back in um, but if you do find this video useful please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video thank you